Hello and welcome to our first update here in Force 13 about Tropical Storm Elida, a quickly intensifying tropical storm that is expected to become a hurricane by tomorrow in the morning and possibly picking as a category 2 tropical cyclone. Right now Elida is located about 220 miles west southwest of Manzanillo in Mexico and it's located at 17.8 degrees north, 107.4 degrees west Maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour moving to the west northwest at 15 miles per hour. A central minimal pressure of 998 millibars. And this is how Elida has been looking in the past hours. Pretty organized in the last frames, of course. A very good convection near, near in the center. Very organized, of course. And well, in the visible imagery, you can see uh, the all the humidity that has been bringing into Mexico pretty intense storms in the northwest of Mexico including the states of Sinaloa, Sonora and of course Nayarit that are the principal uh, states of course that are, be that are being affected by Elida indirectly of course the storm surge is something uh, that should be taken as a possible threat because of course Elida is quite close to land but of course is going to move uh, to the west northwest and leaving the the western coast of Mexico and the models are predicting that the leader will maintain its move into the west northwest some even predict that the leader will make a more of a west uh, turn but practically all are agreed that we'll continue to the west northwest until the next 72 hours when when all the models are predicting other directions that of course are more a delayed um, forecast and practically all of them agree that Elida will, in, uh, will intensify into a category 1 hurricane probably a high end ca a category 1 hurricane between 85 to 90 miles per hour but there are some that of course agree that will, it will intensify into a category 2 tropical cyclone so well, it's just about time to see what's really going to happen with that tropical cyclone. This is the this, this is the GFS model prediction of the future of Elida, intensifying uh, rather quickly in the next hours to practically to achieving a 977 millibars as a, as a peak intensity. So that's a category two tropical cyclone in the Eastern Pacific for sure. And of course, you can see all the humidity and still some instability and more rain to come in the states of Sonora, Sinaloa and Nayarit principally of course. The sea surface temperatures are pretty warm uh, over Elida between sorry under Elida <laughs> between 30 degrees Celsius and 31 degrees Celsius pretty high of course so practically the, uh, all the conditions at least in the ocean are pretty favorable for further intensification and rapid intensification of course because the wind shear are very are the levels of wind shear are pretty low practically none in the Revillagigero islands so Elida has everything to intensify quickly and we cannot uh, rule out a major hurricane status because it has some time still to intensify quickly but of course it's going to last at least two days when Elida starts to finding some unfavorable conditions like increasing wind shear and colder sea surface temperatures. And it has been the update for today, thank you so much for your preference and stay tuned with more because of course we will see more activity here in the Eastern Pacific in the future. You can follow Force13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel, if you are not there already, you may well be. Good chance of that, subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force13 all in text, and our Twitter handle is at Force13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, 
visit youtube.com forward slash 413 slash join with a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show 413 scholars wherever you go. And you can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.